Canadian preferred shares were not immune to the pandemic that sent shockwaves through the financial markets. Following the decision from the Bank of Canada to reduce interest rates aggressively, the preferred share market was down 35% at the peak of the sell-off. However, from that point on, the economic outlook improved drastically, leading the market high. The traditionally slow days of summer were nowhere to be seen in 2020, as volatility remained high. During July, the Royal Bank of Canada issued the inaugural Limited Recourse Capital Note, or as people refer to them, LRCN. This has important implications for preferred shares, and the news sent prices higher. From a structure standpoint, fixed perpetuals were the best performer, ending August with a return of 5% year-to-date. Fixed resets returned minus 2.3%, while floaters returned minus 17.3%. Overall, the S&P TSX Preferred Share Index returned minus 1.7% year-to-date. The holders of the National Bank Preferred Share Equity Income Fund benefited from our balanced approach between fixed perpetuals and fixed resets. Furthermore, the better credit quality of our portfolio relative to the market was also a positive contributor. Looking forward, we are adding exposure to deeply discounted resets as they offer a better symmetrical risk return profile and should garner more and more interest as redemptions increase from preferred share issuers. With government interest rates at or near zero, there is the potential for a normalization through time, which would also be a positive. We will continue to actively select quality resets to add to the portfolio. Coming back to the LRCN subject, since Royal's inaugural issue, we have seen three other banks tap into the LRCN market. In total, $4.2 billion of notional have been issued, which is a significant amount, considering that the preferred share market cap is roughly $65 billion. So why is this so important for the PREF market? First of all, Canadian banks are the largest issuers of preferred shares, representing approximately 35% of the market. Over the years, they have issued PREFs to satisfy their capital ratio, referred to as additional tier one capital. Traditionally, PREFs were the only vehicle that counted as AT1 capital. However, LRCN is also considered AT1 capital. So, for the first time, the banks now have two different Canadian markets that they can issue. 